Hello Church, we are looking at Genesis chapters 9 and 10 today for our daily Bible reading. We just kind of looked over the account of the flood with Noah and his family being preserved as a righteous remnant of people who will listen and obey God. And we get into this next, next kind of section uh, before going into all the descendants of Noah and how all the nations kind of fled, uh, grew out of this one family. We see that God takes some time and talks to Noah and shares his plan of mercy and his covenant, which is a promise with Noah that he will not flood the earth again. And so we're going to look at that in verse 16. It says um, this. This is once again God speaking. When the bow is in the cloud, then I will look upon it. So remember the everlasting covenant between God and every living creature of all flesh that is on the earth. Once again, this is, even says this is an everlasting covenant of the rainbow that will once again will remind her to God that he will not flood the earth. Now, once again, uh, in uh, um, the summer, we'll, we'll read that the book of Revelation. We'll see how God will once again bring judgment and proper righteous judgment on sinful humanity for one last time. But in the midst of this, there will not be, once again, a global flood on the scale that God has done here. And so once again, we see God's mercy that even though people are going to be sinful and rebellious, God is withholding his righteous hand as we read in Romans. And so God's kindness and his mercy is to lead us to repentance, to realize that we are due death for our sins, but his kindness, his mercy is there offered for us to be forgiven and to be made into a right relationship with him. So let's not abuse the mercy of God. Let's uh, take it in and enjoy it and praise God for his mercy and his forgiveness through Jesus Christ. All right, have a great day, church.